It is now 4.26 in the morning. I just dropped off some Navy boys at the uh, airport. They are flying to Quebec City this morning. There are five of them. The car was loaded up with luggage and uh, two guys and the other car, it was a two car order. It was loaded up with three guys and a whole bunch of luggage. And talk about loading up. There was one point where I was sent to one of the homeless shelters and they were going through some kind of a violent breakup and this girl had all this stuff like a whole bunch of bags of clothes and basically filled up the car from the floor to the rafters with them and their luggage them and their stuff just bags full of clothes and, and I mean there was not a, a spare inch in any direction to put anything else in the car it was just stuffed full of stuff yeah Ten dollars went by on the meter while they were loading. Yep. So, I have not stopped driving. I think maybe I watched one video for about ten minutes. And that's it. I have been busy all night. I haven't necessarily driven that far, but... I always had a call. As soon as I dropped one off, I had another call. Another call. Another call. Another call. I got, I think, 28 trips. And I still have an hour and a half to go. Yeah, this one was a tiring night. It was just go, 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 go all night long. Quite a few of the calls got pretty old. I think the oldest one that I was sent on was an hour old when I got it. Naturally, there was no one there because they probably called another cab while waiting for one of ours to show up. Yeah, it's just a joke, really. Then I was sent to the casino, and on the way to the pickup at the casino, I saw two or three of our cars on the way. Then when I got there, there was nobody there. The casino had been closed for half an hour by the time I arrived. This is not a good thing, not having enough drivers to cover the city adequately. It is not a good thing. Okay, back on the highway into town. nothing eventful happens between now and the end of the shift I'll be back tomorrow it's now 519 on a Tuesday morning it's uh, my last run of the night I was worked very hard before midnight I did a whole night's work in half a night I was so busy it was one right after another no matter what it was just go 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 busy 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 and it took so much out of me that the first opportunity that I had to stop and watch a video I watched the video and fell asleep then of course I had another call a little later same thing happened and I guess it was around 2.30 or so, I fell asleep, and I slept for two hours. And then the dispatcher called me, phoned me, and said that I was apparently on suspension because I didn't answer my warning that I was going to get kicked off. I just slept through the whole thing. And so, once he talked to me, I got myself reinstated, and as soon as I did that, 
it sent me on a trip a regular customer trip a short trip and that took that that's he was trying to get me to do that and and my thing wouldn't respond so anyway I did that trip and as soon as I dropped that off I had a time call for five minutes away not too far away and it ended up coming out to the airport for seventy dollars so that makes two five hundred dollar nights in a row what are the chances it's only getting busier and only getting busier we may have the same number of drivers but we don't but the business is getting busier for the summer so it's crazy now i gotta wash the car get into town make a bank deposit uh detail the interior fuel up and go to my chiropractor's appointment in, in an hour and a half about well three more nights to go this week It's now Wednesday morning. Yeah, Wednesday morning. Time is 5.30. I got to get a move on so that I get back in time for Mr. The guy who's always on time. Mr. Punctual. I had a last minute call to a hotel downtown usually go downtown but I wasn't that far away and uh, it just said she's at the desk and uh, okay so rush down there pick her up she says she's going to the airport all she has is a little backpack and here's what happened she was in Seattle and she came to Victoria on a boat And she had the thought in her head that the boat going back to Seattle was going to leave at 545. Well, it left at 5. So she got there to where the boat was going back to Seattle. And she sees the boat is already pulling away when she gets there. So she got stuck in Victoria for the night. Had to stay in a hotel. And now she's taking a plane back to Seattle instead of a boat. And she was lucky to get tickets. And so she's gonna go. Um, I think I have just under 400 on for tonight. Uh, it was slower, especially early in the night, it was slower. And uh, between, uh, between uh, midnight and one, I even went to sleep. And then I had a couple, I think it was 2 o'clock, I started getting real busy again. And the morning was fairly busy. Very often, every time I wanted to take a break, I got another call. And I hate working that way. Well, you know that. You've heard it all already, haven't you? Yes, I got to get a move on. I got to get into town. I got to fuel up. I got a park and that is the mission right now because I just just dropped off at the airport $58 was worth it yeah uh, okay deal with this roundabout bullshit too many changes in direction over here Okay, two more nights to go. I was busy. I was very busy. I was extremely busy. I just drop off at the airport. The time is now 5.53 a.m. 5.53 and I have $530 on. That included a couple of longer trips and uh, a couple of trips from my very generous customer. Uh, and I've 
just had enough. I'm burnt out, tired, stressed, fed up. That vacation will not come soon enough. I don't know. Nights like this all the time. Used to be you'd maybe get one night like this a month back in the day. Now it's two or three a week. That's my third night over 500 this week. Sunday night was 500, was 500. Monday night was 500. Tuesday night, okay, that was a little, that was 400-ish. Just under 400. This Wednesday night, 530. It's crazy. At least I'll be able to afford to go on vacation. I'll be able to wine and dine and drink whiskey and entertain, have fun. Going to a music festival. I was invited to a music festival. I was told, we're going to a music festival. You want you want to be in on it? Sure, sure. I'll be there a day late because the thing will start on Friday and go till Sunday. But I will arrive on Saturday because I will be driving all night, Friday night. And we're talking about the 15th of July. So that's where that is. And I'm just looking, I'm so looking forward to that vacation because every time I pull into a parking lot now, I want to look at something on my phone. I can't get through a three minute video before I get a call. It's frustrating, it's tiring, it's stressful. It's go, go, go. to go this week. I gotta hit the car wash because the owner's driving after me. Gonna hit the car wash, clean the car, detail the interior, fuel up, go home, repeat tomorrow. This time I did not go to the airport. No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. The time is 5.49. I am done. Done, 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 done. And let me just log out. Okay, log out. I have just... I've just done my last trip. Shift ends at 6, it's 5.50 now. And I'm out in Langford at the Walmart. So I just dropped off at the Langford Walmart. It was one of the managers. Today is Canada Day. He was saying that even on Canada Day, the manager has to work when everyone else can take the day off. Well, uh, it's been, I think, the busiest week busiest week. Four nights out of five, or 500 or more. This was a $510 night. Again, busy, 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 like you wouldn't believe. And long trips, just go, go, go. I've, did, I've done 24 trips. 24 trips, and a lot of them are, are pretty long. The average is over $20 if you consider I've done 510 bucks. The average is over $20. I can't believe this. Yeah. Just 
busy. And I did not have my uh, my generous customer tonight. I didn't have him. He didn't come out, or he didn't go out. So I I've done. I'm tired. Oh, I'm really tired. Canada Day. First of July. My birthday's tomorrow. It'll be 58 years old. Have exactly seven years till I retire. Uh, retirement won't be soon enough. Hope I live so long. Just exhausted, tired, beat to hell, and I really want to have a drink. But first, I have to do other things. It's going to be a laundry night tonight, so I got to make my bed because I took the dirty sheets off. I got to make my bed. I gotta have something to eat. I gotta have a breakfast. I gotta call my mother like I do every Friday. I call my mother every Friday. And I also have to get some groceries because it's gonna be a laundry night tonight. Oh, that sun is bright. I'm also guessing that that sun is bright. I'm gonna have to remedy that situation. Oh yeah. There's a policeman just sitting there. is the phone is in front of the speedo so I can't see the speedo I think I'm doing the right speed because the cars behind me are are going the same speed back there ah there's the sun there's that bright bright sun I didn't want to be heading east at this time of the morning but it just worked out that way because that Walmart manager went to Walmart Yeah, so it's going to be a busy weekend. I have things to do. Hope yours is better than mine. 